Hey guys, Yvonne here at YvonneMana.com and in this video I want to show you how to create a mobile hamburger navigation menu in Unbounce. Now this assumes that you already have some sort of navigation bar at the top, okay, so make sure you do that first and once you, once you go into mobile view, so let's put this down, it's gonna look like this, okay, where it has these things here. Now one thing for you to keep in mind, this is not perfect. There are a few issues I came across even on their own example page. So for example, if you uh, don't select an option, then you go back to desktop, as you can see, it uh, has this extra block here. So if you want additional help, please don't ask me. I don't have any special coding experience. I simply follow instructions. Um, make sure to hire a developer or something like that, okay? That being said, let's get straight into it. We're gonna be following this article here. We're gonna go through this step-by-step -step together, all right? So we'll go through this. Uh, you can also download this Unbounce page and you, can see, you will have access to this page exactly to see what they did, okay? Other than that, we're gonna go through this. So let's go uh, to step one and let's do, let's do all these steps. So this is our page we'll be working on. As you can see, we have this navigation bar. So the first thing it says we have to do is copy this, okay? So even though we have this navigation bar here already on mobile, right? And we don't want it to look like this. We want it to be like a hamburger menu. The first thing we're gonna do is copy this. So we're gonna select copy, head over into mobile, and we're gonna paste it here. Actually, maybe I'm in this section, so oops. We're gonna paste it here. Not twice, sorry, once. Okay, we're just gonna paste it once. And this is going to be our navigation menu, okay? So this part right here that we just pasted, let me just make it a bit bigger here so we can see everything. This is gonna be this part. It's gonna be this part right here, all right? So that's what we're gonna edit right now. It's that section that drops down, that's this. So what we wanna do is maybe delete this logo. We probably don't need that because we have it at the top. And we can edit this however we want to. So we're gonna grab all these. And actually, I want the home to be at the top, right? So I'm probably gonna rearrange these. I'll probably drag this to the top here. Uh, I don't remember what order they were in. Well, um, let's go here and see what the order was. So it's home, angled, tabbed, and image. Home, angled, tabbed, and image. Tab. Okay, so we're gonna do something like this. We're gonna center it. We're gonna center this. So play around with this as you want to. Change the background, change the hover effects, change whatever you want to here. This is gonna be the drop down. okay? So in our case, we're probably gonna make this a little smaller. I think it's too big. And we're gonna come back here and center all this. All right, uh, now we can spend days doing that. So I'm not gonna spend an overly, uh, you know, overly too much time on it, but I just wanna show you these are the types of things you will do. So let's just, let's just keep it at that and let's keep going. Now, we don't have to have it here, so we can go ahead and drag it to the side, okay? We don't need it here in the middle. This will not be seen, so we can just go in and drag it to the side, okay? Um, sorry, just one more thing that's bugging me. I don't like the fact there's too much extra space there at the top. Let me put that up like that, okay? So there you go, that looks good. Let's drag it to the side. Now, what we're gonna do is select all these buttons here and we're gonna hide them, okay? So click on contents right over here. See all these buttons right here? So this image is the logo, we're gonna keep the logo, but we're gonna hide all these, okay? And by the way, this is the box, the navigation box. We should drag it over like this. And um, if you haven't seen the video on how to do a, um, the video on how to do the, a sticky header, make sure to check that video out because that's gonna be important here. But what we're gonna do here is hide all these buttons. We don't need them, okay? So we're gonna select the buttons here, hide, 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 okay? So we hid all these buttons and on desktop now, they're still gonna show up, but we don't have it show up on mobile, which is great, okay? We're gonna head over to desktop and we're gonna also hide this because we don't want that to be there. So. That's this navigation bar. We can rename it if you want to. So instead of navigation bar desktop, we may name it navigation bar mobile. Click enter and we're just gonna hide it. Okay, so now that doesn't show up. So desktop still looks perfect. Mobile looks kind of clumsy, but don't worry, we'll get there. So let's head back over here and let's just see where we're at. So we did copy the uh, navigation box element right here. We just copied it, there it is. Uh, we can edit it, we styled it, okay. In mobile, we hid the buttons, okay? And we have to add a toggle button. So we're gonna do that shortly, but we did switch to desktop and we did hide the newly created um, the newly created icon, so or the, the new box, so we just hid that right now. 
So now what we have to do is go in here and add that hamburger menu, right? One that looks like this. So we have to add this part over here, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. So let's head back over here. Let's make this a bit smaller now, and this is too big. Uh, I'm gonna drag it down a bit like that. Drag that down as well. So we wanna make sure they're the same height and width, okay? So this is 124. So we're gonna select this background section and make this 124 as well, okay? That looks good. Now we're gonna go in and we're gonna add a button that's gonna say menu and have the three little lines there, okay? So we're gonna go over here, add button, add it only to desktop uh, or only to mobile. We're not gonna add it here. So in desktop, we wanna make sure we go here and we hide it, okay? We don't want it to show up on desktop. We're gonna go back to mobile and we can play around with this button here. So let's change it. Instead of saying button, we're gonna say menu. Does that sound fair? And now we can add an icon, okay? So there are no icons in Unbounce, but what I did was I found this cool website called coolsymbol.com, not affiliated with them. Uh, I'll put the link in the description, just coolsymbol.com. Uh, scroll down and find your three line icon, okay? So I scroll down, I was able to find it somewhere here. Uh, give it a second. Or if you have the three lines or you know how to do it or whatever, you know, do that, whatever. Point is we're getting the icon. So this one's too small. I used this one, so I clicked it, okay? And it automatically copies it, okay? We're gonna click those automatically copy. Let's go back here, go to menu, we're gonna hit space, and then we're gonna paste. So I'm gonna control V on my windows to paste it, and boom, there you go, okay? Now we're gonna make this a little bit bigger. This seems a bit small, so let's make it 18 maybe. That looks pretty good, okay? You can play around with it as you want to, like, move it around this is what your mobile is gonna look like okay it's gonna show this menu and then this is gonna swoop in right underneath okay when this menu is clicked so uh, let's head back into here so we've done that okay we've added the button and image right we've added this menu here we've switched to desktop so now we have to add the code so let's go in and do that so we're gonna copy this code and let's go back to our page let's go to JavaScript Here's everything we've done. Check out my Unbounce playlist, guys. I have like 26 plus videos on a bunch of different uh, cool things. Click on add new JavaScript, and it says to add a before body end tag. We're gonna do that. We'll paste it here, and we'll name this hamburger menu, right? I think so, uh, mobile. Mobile hamburger menu. But we're not done yet. Don't click save yet. Uh, let's head back over here. We have to open this option here, so let's click that. Uh, that took us back. Let's let me just quickly open this in a new, sorry, in a new tab so that we don't uh, we don't lose track of that. And now we're gonna take this code here, and it tells you what to do. It tells you what to update. We're gonna take that code here. And we're just gonna paste it right underneath here. So we're gonna paste it there. Uh, to be a perfectionist, we're gonna delete that. Okay. So so far so good. Keep that as is. Don't worry about changing these IDs. We're gonna get into that. Just click done. Next, let's head over and let's take the other code. Let's take the CSS code and I will show you what to change. Let's click copy. Go into style sheets, add new style sheet. Let's name this mobile hamburger menu as well. Huh. Perfectionist, sorry. Have to make it all perfect. Okay, so there you go. Let's click save. Okay, so we've added the code. We are well on our way to finishing this off. Now we have to just edit the code with our IDs, okay? So we've done step four, step three, step two, step one. Now we have to do these three steps, okay? So first let's open the JavaScript, okay? And we have to change the IDs here. So the first ID we have to change with the image button. And the second ID we have to change with the box that we created. So let me show you what I mean by that. So we're gonna head over into JavaScript, okay? Mobile hamburger menu. So we have to change this with the new button that we added that says menu, okay? So I'll show you where to get that. And then these two things right here, we have to change with the box that's gonna show up once someone clicks menu. So let's click cancel. So let's head over here. I'm gonna click on menu, scroll down, and copy this link here. So I'm just gonna double click it, copy it, head back into JavaScript's mobile hamburger, hamburger menu and replace that. I'm gonna control V, I'm gonna backspace so it doesn't lose its format, and that's it for this, okay? I'm gonna click done. Now I'm gonna take this option here, double click it, uh, control C, let's head back into JavaScript, and change that here. Paste it, backspace to make it look good. 
Take this, paste it, backspace to make it look good. Make sure everything is formatted. Make sure you didn't delete any anything. Sometimes if you hit back, backspace too many times, it's going to delete something. But we're pretty much good here. Let's head over into Style Sheets again, or not again, but we'll head over into Style Sheets. And this is where we're going to style this drop down box. So this is where we can add additional styling for this box. So we can add uh, where we want it to be, and we have to indicate how far up from the top we want it to be. Okay, so that's uh, that's step seven right here. Okay, so we've done everything here. So we're gonna go here. I'm gonna control V to paste it again, backspace, and now it's styling our box. Now, one more thing we have to do is we have to specify where do we want this box to show up after someone clicks menu. So the way we do that is we click on this box here, we scroll to the top, and notice how it says 124. That means the height is 124 pixels. So we want this menu to show up right after those 124 pixels. We want the menu to show up right here, right? So we can enter, we can go into Style Sheets, Hamburger Menu, and from the top here, we're gonna enter 124. And that's really pretty much it, okay? Now I will show you one more thing you can edit, which is this margin left, but let's just save it and let's just see what all of this is gonna look like, okay? And this should be pretty much done, it should be good to go. Now, obviously, you're going to have to go in there and make sure that your objects are redirecting to where you want them to, right? So like over here on those this button, make sure that this takes you to, you know, this part of the section, like this takes me to home and this takes me to angled bottoms. So just make sure you do that first as well. But we'll click republish. Let's republish and let's quickly just take a look and see what that's going to look like. Okay, so I'm going to control click this page so it opens in a new tab. And okay, so so far so good, you know, angled bottom stakes us here, perfect. I'm gonna scroll back up. Let's make it smaller. And if we click menu, okay, so the, the something is wrong here. So let's head back over and let's see what the issue is. So we'll click on mobile. So for some reason, this is showing up when it really shouldn't, okay? So let's uh, head back over here and let's see what we missed. It says 199, so let's make sure that the element ID is correct, it's 199. 199, um, help you with the ID of your menu box. Yeah, that looks good. Style sheets maybe, 199, oops. Okay, so there you go, right? So there's the mistake. So it has two LPs in there, okay? So we're gonna delete that. Let's click done, let's click save. Let's try this again. Now I could have probably cut out that part, uh, but I just wanted to, I, I didn't intend on doing it, but I just want to make sure that if there is some issue, just double check everything like that. So let's refresh this page. Let's make it smaller. And now we don't see it here. And if we click menu, boom, it shows up over here. Okay. And um, yeah, so this is prop properly set up. It does take you to the right page. So if we click on it, see it takes us to home. Now the issue is here. This is a bit too much on the left, right? So what we want to do is head back over here, click got it click on mobile hamburger menu and over here it says margin left so the margin from the left hand side is at negative 160 honestly I'm not even sure how this really works um, so it looks like this is pushed a bit too much to the left okay so let's you're gonna have to play around with this let's see if if we change this to negative 100 if it's gonna do anything okay so there's no right answer this is gonna depend on your page and your specification so I can't tell you one way of doing it because it's gonna differ depending on your page but let's refresh this and we made it from 160 to 100 and let's see if that's going to uh, do something so let's and then here's that thing see so remember how I told you if you don't select an option and you head back to desktop it does this so there's that so keep that in mind uh, so let's do that let's click next okay so that looks pretty perfect actually right that swoops down again you can edit it as you see fit it doesn't have to be white it can be a different color but if you you know select a section it's gonna deselect and then we can head back to the top let's select image slider is going to deselect okay and that's how you do the hamburger menu you will have to play around with it uh, notice how the header is sticky here it does not have to be sticky your header doesn't have to stay at the top okay uh, I'm probably gonna put a note more so at the beginning of the video you don't have to have a sticky header for this to work um, but that is it that is how you create a hamburger menu guys if you enjoyed this video uh, leave it a like and subscribe I you know I went through this process myself just so I could show you how to do it um, but if you liked this type of content make sure to check out my unbounce playlist I cover a bunch of things like this like we have um, you know all these angled bottoms we have these little cool things here with the buttons clicking we have click me where an image gallery shows up all that stuff check that out 
Otherwise, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.